Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone, and uh, happy June. I hope you're finding something too that's a little different and enjoyable. But um, we have quite a bit of uh, a number of waivers today, and so thanks to everyone for uh, being. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I do have a question, Rob and Allison, on these. Uh, I mean, I know if it's EKU, I need to recuse myself. If I know someone, I also need to recuse myself, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Then we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, and Kathy, I'll turn it over to you. Okay. Waiver A uh, has been submitted from 10 EPPs. Do I need to go through the list or can you all see it all right? Are you okay? All right. They've requested waivers for a portion of the 200 clinical field hours for some of their students due to school closures for the COVID-19. Each EPP has provided letters and a list of their students that need to have some of these hours waived before they can student teach in the fall. Okay, so uh, you have the proposal before you. I will say I need to recuse myself on this. Um, so do we have any questions for Kathy? If not, then we need a motion. I'm sorry, I motion to approve. Okay, thank you, Rachel. And we need a second. A second. Okay, let's see. Rob or Allison, how many voting members do we have on here? You three. Okay, all right, and I need to recuse myself, so. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. <laughs> Opposed, no. All right, then, uh, then the motion carries and the waiver is approved. Okay, waiver B, Midway has requested an additional 18 days be waived for one of their student teachers, Joy Johnson, for the spring semester due to her inability to work with her cooperating teacher on NTI. They had already requested 17 days that were approved at the April meeting. So the request and a letter of support have been submitted. Uh, and I told you they previously approved the 17 days. So they need to add 18 more days. Okay, any questions for Kathy? Yes. Did it come through? Yes. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, Can I say that this was uh, also, this waiver and the next waiver were presented to Sherry and Donna, is it Headspeth? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for to be conditionally approved so that the student could graduate. Do I need to say that in the board meeting or not or what? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I think mainly it's going to go by what the waiver committee. Um, okay, so right. I can just say, yeah, so I won't mention anything about the conditional. No, because really the waiver committee, if, if the waiver committee thinks it's fine, then that's going to be the recommendation to the board anyway. Perfect. However, it doesn't hurt for Ellen and Rachel to know that Donna and Sherry okay. already gave a conditional approval. Okay. And if I remember correctly, uh, student was doing, they had the student involved in some different experiences. In all kinds of things. They were yeah. doing as much as they could. It, it's just, they she don't have She had already to. finished her first placement of 35 days. So this was her second placement. And the cooperating teacher was very uncooperative. Yeah. And they, they did some one-on-one uh, -on -one types of things with her. The university did. It's yes. just, yes. they're not, it's not your tra traditional approach. Right. So, right. I mean, uh, if, if the university feels comfortable and you all have looked to see if it could work for graduation, then I'm going to trust that and I feel comfortable with approving uh, waiver B. 
Okay. I'll second. Okay. All right. The, just for a little bit of context on these situations, the, um, you know, whatever the universities have have asked for or done in good faith or not, it, it hasn't been the fault of the student. Um, and some of our students had better experiences than others, and some of our EPPs really dug deep and provided some really good um, additional things to do. Sherry's EPP, for an example, really came up with some, some ways to engage students who couldn't participate in some very meaningful ways. I'm not gonna say that was everybody, but the, I think the consideration is whatever did happen, unless it was a student who just decided to go AWOL, it wasn't the fault of the student. Yeah, there, there were some students that were in situations that the teacher just refused to work with the student. We couldn't get them with another teacher. Um, so, okay, so I think uh, this waiver then is approved. Okay, C. Are you ready for waiver C? Yes. C, okay, Lindsey Wilson College has requested an additional 35 days to be waived for their student teacher, Jacob Brockman, for this spring. He was called up for active duty with the National Guard. He had to report to Louisville to set up that hospital kind of thing on the fairgrounds. Um, the request and the letter of support have been submitted. The board previously approved four days at the April meeting for him, so they need an additional 35 days. Days. I make a motion to approve. I second. Okay. So you have the motion before you. If you approve, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. All right. Waiver D. Okay. Waiver D is from Thomas More University. Um, waiver for their student who is a theater and this would have come through as an alternative waiver but to submit um, a letter from the district supporting and Thomas Moore has tried for a really long time to get the waiver uh, or to get a letter from the district. What's happening right now to them that they were unable to do that. So we uh, advise them to just submit a waiver request. Um, as you know, there's not a teacher in an elementary setting that is a theater. <laughs> So they are going to do a placement between middle school and high school. They're giving them all the exposure that they can during their field hours, and also they will during their experience. Kathy, let's have you go audio only, please, since you don't have to be Still on, messed up, okay. Yeah, since you don't have to be on camera to vote, I don't think you have to um, Perfect. stay on camera, and that'll help with your bandwidth. Thank you. Okay. Right. Okay. Did it come out okay? Did you all understand for that waiver? Yes. Okay. Yes. We've, um, I feel like we've had similar ones to this before where we've approved. Okay. So I need a recommendation. So I recommend to approve waiver. See. Okay. Okay. All right. It's waiver D. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I have the waiver in front of me, but I don't see the actual, like on the act waiver, I don't see the letter. So thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have a motion to approve waiver D. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. All right. Waiver E. Okay, waiver E is the exact same waiver for a different student. The student's name for this one is Natalie Blue. 
and she's a theater major in the exact same circumstances for Thomas Moore. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, so we have a motion to approve waiver E. If you approve the waiver, signify by saying aye. Aye. Um, okay. Those opposed, all right. Waiver F. Waiver F is for Mr. Will Kayatin. Um, on excuse me, is from Moorhead State University. On behalf of Dr. Will Kayatin, um, he is currently applying for the school superintendent program at Moorhead State. Uh, he does not meet any of the admission requirements. However, he has served at KVEC since 2012, leading, supporting, and attending multiple professional learning experiences. Um, should you approve or make recommendation to approve the waiver, um, in addition to waiving his admission requirements, there would need to be a second waiver regarding the um, two-year um, experience that's required for certification. Okay, um, I, I will need to recuse myself from this, uh, this one since I know him. Any questions for Allison? So, so have we done something like this before? Is this strictly because of the virus or why would we so, no, this isn't related to the virus. Um, he has just applied for the school superintendent program and submitted his uh, curriculum vita and resume. And Moorhead is inquiring about whether or not he, if the if the board would consider waiving the requirements of the regulation. I, I, don't, I think I think he needs the experience. Um, so I would, um, I'm not, I don't agree with this one. I'm going to agree. I, I agree with you. I think he needs the experience. I think there's a reason we have these in place and it's not even just one thing. It's a multiple right. criteria. So I don't feel comfortable approving either. Okay. So, uh, so we need to, deny. to deny. okay. And Ellen, are you okay. okay. All right. So you have the motion to deny waiver F. Uh, if you approve, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Okay. And the motion carries. Waiver G. Um, okay. Waiver G is um, Jason Disney. Um, he is an occupation-based teacher. Um, he was unable to complete the six semester hours of coursework towards his um, associate's degree program this year due to medical circumstances. Um, I believe during the 1920 school year, he had to have, well, from summer to present, he had to have like three surgeries. So he was unable to uh, complete the courses, but he is enrolled uh, for fall and um, is scheduled to complete those and uh, uh, complete the requirements of his program um, by December. Okay. Any any questions for Crystal? Okay. Then I need a motion. Okay. If we approve it, is it? Does he have another year or how does that work? Is there a time frame on it? Because I'm I'm good with giving him extended time. I just want to make sure that there's some kind of. Yeah. Yes. If he, this would give him through the 2021 school year to meet his six hours. But I believe from what I recall from um, the from the recommendation put forth mm -hmm. that he's going to if he's going to have the two classes completed this mm -hmm. fall. And that actually may complete his program from what I remember. Okay. Okay, so we have a motion. Rachel, are you second? second. Okay. All right. So, Crystal, 
uh, then we don't have to put any conditions here. Correct. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have a motion to approve waiver G. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. All right. The motion carries. Uh, waiver H. Waiver H is uh, requested by Fayette County. Um, they have a pending offer of employment for an, uh, Ms. Emma Farrow. Um, she completed her teaching program through Eastern Nazarene College in uh, Massachusetts. However, um, she was unable to take the test to become certified in that state due to COVID. Um, she has though completed her testing requirements for the elementary certification, which is her program area uh, for Kentucky. She's passed all of her Kentucky tests. Um, she did that prior to COVID. Um, so the district is asking for a waiver of 4030 that requires her to hold the out-of-state certification. Any questions for Crystal? Okay, then I need a motion. Crystal, have we have approved this in the past, if, if I'm yes. right. Yes, we actually had one at the April board meeting. If you recall, it was the teacher who had completed her program at, um, I believe, Indiana University Southeast, maybe, for gifted, and she was hired in Shelby County. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we've, we've done, we've had a few similar, similar cases to this. Okay. Yeah. I thought we approved labor H. Okay. All right. Second. All right. So we have a motion to approve waiver H. If you approve, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. All right. Waiver I. Waiver I is for Sean Lawrence. Um, this is a waiver of 8020, the, the rank two regulation. Um, now, Mr. Lawrence is um, has completed a middle school education program through Thomas More. Um, the university has um, offered him a position to remain there as a graduate student. Um, and... Um, they, he wants to pursue his his plan. He, I believe, he is pursuing a program, their Master of Arts in Ethical Leadership. Um, according to the staff note and the documentation that was provided, Thomas More does not offer a program in teacher leadership or educational leadership, which would be what he would have pursued had they offered it at the graduate level. Um, but they do have the Master of Arts in Ethical Leadership, and he is requesting um, that once that program is completed, that we will accept it for a rank two. Allison, doesn't Thomas Moore have a teacher leader master's? Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah, and that, that's, a, okay. that's a difference in those programs. The focus, what would be embedded, yeah. right, Allison? I, I think it's, it's a really different. I'm trying to. And I'm trying to find my notes here. I'm, I'm toggling between screens right now. I'm trying to find to see if he, I know I'm pretty certain that the documents that came, that was uh, submitted with the waiver request and also included something from Thomas Moore, a letter of support from Thomas Moore. That's what I'm trying to find right now. Yeah, I don't uh, think he, I don't think he has any desire to be a principal. I think he might want to further in coaching and maybe athletic directing somewhere down the line. I guess my concern was, you know, you have those programs and they're approved. I, I don't see, you know, you open the door uh, to programs that really aren't focused on educator preparation. Uh, right. To me, that's problematic. I'm looking at his. Um... Well, that's why we have you guys on the committee. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I'm looking at the letter from Thomas Moore, um, and this was just a, like a, a letter of recommendation for the graduate program. It wasn't specifically for this particular or asking to consider this one. So, so yeah, that's that would have that would be my my error when preparing the staff note that they do have a um, an approved program for teacher leader, but. 
that wasn't brought forward in the in his notes either. Well, sometimes uh, one of the concerns I have too is, you know, at the university when we see things like this, also when we have students really, you know, wanting to transfer from another university, whether they're in a program like this or a different program, there are admission requirement issues, whether it's on the dispositional side, whether it's, you know, what, whatever, um, and students are trying to get around that. I don't know that that's the case here, but I just, uh, well, I, I, I don't really support this, but we need a motion, so. I, I agree, I agree. We, we should we need to deny this one. I make a recommendation to deny. A second. Motion to deny. Waiver request aye. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. All right. So, Waiver J. So, excuse me, Sherry. Excuse me. Yeah. I, I need to clarify this. I don't know if it's going to impact your all's decision. But um, Thomas Moore did have a teacher leader program, but it's just been recently closed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I apologize for that. I know that they had they had, had one in the past, but it's um, I'm I'm looking to see its closure date right now. But my guess is that if he had entered that program, they would have had to teach him out. Correct. Absolutely. Right. Yes. It, um, and it yeah. could be he's getting some kind of tuition waiver, so he's trying mm -hmm. to find something. But I think, you know, if this is what you want to do, then you need to go through an approved program. To get right. it. Yeah, they, they closed the program um, in October of 2019, and they have a uh, until August of this year as the, as the date set for them to complete all the students that were in the program at the time. And the reason that they closed the program that they gave us was a lack of future demand for this credential. Okay. And I'm I'm also checking right now. I'm looking to see if um, if there's uh, on the pr approved program site to see if there are any approved master's programs that are not initial cert because he obviously you know he has just completed his program, but. Everything I'm looking on their approved program list is all initial initial graduate programs. So, so that so so how when I prepared the staff note, it would have been correct that there are no ed leadership programs available for him to pursue, which is why he has chosen to take the the Master of Arts in Ethical Leadership. Okay. Still, I still agree with what we've done because I, I feel like what Ms. Powers said, we're opening up the door for other students to, to want to do a different program and us have to approve it. So I, I just feel like he should probably go somewhere else to obtain that degree. So that's my, my thoughts. I, I completely agree with that. Okay. All right, I think we are uh, made a decision then on, on waiver I. So, uh, waiver J. Waiver J is brought forth by um, Allen County Schools um, on behalf of Cameron Cook. Um, this is a waiver of 2120, as you all have become very accustomed to these. Um, it's a second emergency for a high school physics position. Um, Mr. Cook has a degree in biology and he's planning to go through the option six program. However, he needs some additional coursework in uh, physics before being eligible for admission. I make a motion to approve. Second. Okay. All right. So we have a motion to approve waiver J. Uh, if you approve, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. All right. So the uh, approved waiver J. Uh, waiver K. 
Waiver K is brought by Christian County Schools for Amanda Ashton. Um, this is also a waiver of 2120 in order for her to receive a second emergency. She is a currently certified teacher um, with certification in IECE and LBD. Um, she has filled a high school math position uh, for the 1920 school year. She's planning to pursue the additional certification either through the highly qualified route or the proficiency evaluation route. Um, and um, there, the district is requesting the second waiver so she can also complete additional coursework in the content. Any questions for Crystal? Yeah. Okay. I need a motion. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, so we have a motion to approve the waiver. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, waiver L. Waiver L is also from Christian County on behalf of Thomas Wise. Um, this is also a waiver of 2120. Um, he has filled a high school math position for at Hopkinsville High School for 1920. He's a his undergrad degree is in business. He's planning to pursue the math certification through option six, but needs additional coursework in the content area. Okay. Any questions for Crystal? All right, then we need a motion. A motion to approve. Second. Okay. All right. So we have a motion to approve waiver L. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. So the waiver is approved. Waiver M. Waiver M is uh, brought by Garrett County Schools on behalf of Leanne Kirkpatrick. Um, this is also a waiver for a second emergency. She has a degree in anthropology. Um, she filled a high school math position for 1920, and she is also pursuing additional coursework um, in order to be admitted into an option six program. Any questions for Crystal? All right, then I need a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. All right, so we have a motion to approve waiver M. You approve the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Those opposed, no. All right, the motion is approved. Waiver N. Waiver N is brought by Powell County Schools on behalf of Catherine Moore. Um, this is also a waiver of 2120 for a second emergency. Uh, for 1920, she filled a middle school English position in the district. Um, she has a degree in communications. Um, she plans to pursue option six, but also needs some additional coursework in the area uh, to qualify for admission. Any questions for Crystal? All right. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Okay. So we have a motion to approve waiver N. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Those opposed, no. All right. So waiver N is approved. Uh, waiver O. Waiver O is brought by Christian County Schools on behalf of one of their teachers. This is a waiver you all had seen previously um, for Dustin Lopez. Um, he is uh, filling a, a high school Spanish position for the district. The previous waiver that was granted was to waive the GPA requirement because his GPA wasn't high enough at the time for the emergency certification. He um, is pursuing option six. He has taken two courses since then and received A's in both of them. So he has raised his GPA um, since uh, the previous emergency was granted. However, the district needs a second emergency because he needs more coursework to qualify for the option six. Okay. Any questions for Crystal? All right. Do I have a motion? I'll, 
I'll approve it. A second. Okay. So we have a motion to approve waiver O. If you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. All right, the motion carries and the waiver is uh, recommended for approval. Um, waiver P. And last but not least, um, the um, Todd County Schools is requesting a similar waiver, waiver to the last one. Um, uh, this one is for Tamara Wagner. Um, this is also a second emergency um, and the GPA was low on the first one. Um, she filled in a chemistry position 1920 school year. She's pursuing option six. She's taking courses in STEM to raise her GPA so she can qualify for admission to option six. Any questions for Crystal? Mm -hmm. okay. I would approve. I make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, so we have a motion to approve waiver P. Uh, if you approve the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. All right. So the motion is recommended for approval. All right. Anything else? We've done really well. 30 Very efficient. Okay. Allison or Rob, anything else we need to... To do before we sign off from well no, I think we're in good shape I appreciate you all hopping on everybody getting on early and it uh, looks like we probably could have gotten it done by in the half hour but it's uh, better to be safe than sorry and that gives you a couple minutes to refill your coffee or whatever before yeah. we get on for the long haul because it's gonna be a long one today yeah yay yay <laughs> thanks everybody really appreciate it